Hi everyone, welcome back to Computer Tutoring. In today's video, we're going to learn how to dynamically highlight rows as you type in Excel. This powerful feature will make your data analysis more efficient and visually appealing. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so here we are with our data, and I'd like to say I'd make I'll, I will make this spreadsheet available to you. Just click on the link down down below from the website. If you're on the website, then have a look down below. You'll see a link somewhere. So first thing I need to do is make some space at the top for my text box. So I need to draw a text box to highlight those three rows at the top. I'm going to right click and go to insert. So you can see I've gone to insert here, and yeah, that's looking good. And now I've got space for my text box just at the top. Now, I need to bring up this developer tab. I don't know if you can see that at the top here. I'll just surround it in pink. Now, if you can't see the developer tab at the top, you need to display it by right-clicking on any tab on your ribbon. I'm going to choose the data tab because you should all have that. I'm going to go down to and choose customize the ribbon. So click on customize the ribbon. Now, in the section on the right-hand side, you can see the developer tab. I've already got that ticked, the de developer tab, just here. So you just need to tick that developer tab and then click on OK. And then your developer tab should appear on your ribbon at the top of the screen. Next thing we need to do is insert a text box, which we can access from this insert drop down menu. So insert and across and select this text control. Just make my pointer a little thinner, just here. Okay, so let's do that. Inserts, I'm just gonna click on that little text control. And then I'm gonna draw a nice big text box all the way over to the right hand side. And there we have our text box. Next, we need to make that text box or link that text box to a cell in our spreadsheet. And to make it so that you can see it, we're gonna link it to cell F1. We do that by right clicking on the text box that we've just drawn go down to and choose properties. Now in the properties window, you're going to look for linked cell. And in that you will have to type the name of the cell you want to link to. So you can see I've typed in that linked cell box F1 because I want to link that text box to cell F1. That's great. That's all we need to do here. I'm going to close off the properties window by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. I'm then going to click on the design design mode button at the top to turn Excel out of design mode. And now I can click in this text box at the top. And whatever I type, you can see it'll appear at the top in F1. So that's the first part. The next part, what we need to do is we need to, let me just get rid of that little bit there, is set up the conditional formatting. So the way we do that is select the cells that you want to conditionally format. So in this case, it's going to be rows A5 down to E29. We're then going to go to the Home tab at the top and then click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down menu. Go down to and choose New Rule. Now, in the New Rule box, we're going to choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Now, the first formula we're going to type in is the search function. So let me type that in and then I'll zoom in so you can actually see it. So it's going to be equals search. I'm going to look for F1, note the dollar signs there, comma in B5. Now, because I want this formula to relatively reference down on the rows, but not the, col uh, the columns, I'm going to keep the column in front of the B, but I will remove the column the um, uh, dollar sign from in front of the five. So I'm going to keep the dollar sign in front of the B and remove the dollar sign from in front of the five. And in that way, it keeps the column absolute, but the rows relative. Close off the bracket. Let's get in close there so you can see. So you see I've used the search function just here. I'm using an absolute reference, $F, $1, on across both of them for F1, and that's important. And then for what it's going to find or what it's looking for, I need to have $B to fix the column. I need this to be true if I want the entire 
row or the entire row to be formatted, which is what I do. If you want, I can put some links below as to how you can automatically format the entire row in a spreadsheet. Great. So that looks good. All I need to do is choose a color. So I'm going to click on format. I'm going to go to the fill color at the top. So if you do the same, and we're going to click on the mustard yellow here at the top. And I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to click on OK. Now you can instantly see the problem here. The whole lot of data has turned yellow. So I don't want it to turn yellow. Um, it does work. In fact, if we go up and if we type in uh, time for time travel device, it is filtering time. It's looking good. But of course, I don't want it to be highlighted if there's nothing in the text box. So we might need to make a slight adjustment to the conditional formatting. So if we go back and select A5, back down to E29, and back on the Home tab, back to conditional formatting, we're going to choose Manage Rules. In the Manage Rules box, we're going to double click on this conditional formatting formula here to bring up the edit formatting rule box. So we are just going to incorporate an AND function. So it's AND, A-N-D, open bracket. Then we've got our search and we're checking to see, okay, if there's something in the box, which is great, AND cell F1 does not equal blank. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can see here. So the extra bit I've added to this formula is the AND function. And it's checking to see, OK, if there is something in the box, OK, and as long as F1 does not equal blank, then it's going to format. So basically, if F1's blank, it's not going to format. And if I type something in the box, then OK, it's going to um, format. So it's those conditions have to be true for it to be colored. So it gets rid of that all formatting error that I've got there. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to click on Apply just to make sure it works. It looks like it's working. Let's be sure of that. So I'm going to click on OK, go up to my box here at the top, and let's type in Time, and you can see it's now come up Time Travel Device. If I type in HOL for Holographic Visor, you see it's also come up Holographic Visor, Holographic Keyboard as well, and it also works in the middle. So if I type in Boo for Boots, it will come up gravity boots as well. It will look for anything, you know, anywhere it matches this string or this text. In any of this text, it will match it and it will highlight the whole row. So just a bit of housekeeping at the end. I'm sure you're wanting to do that. Let me right click on row F and go down to, in, uh, sorry, column F rather, and go down to and choose hide. We don't want to see that. I want to put a little nice little bit of instructions to the left of the box. So I'm going to click on insert here at the top. And on the right hand side, there's a text box. And let me just draw a text box just to the right here. And in there, I'm going to say search products. So I know what I'm searching. And I will make the text box a little wider. Um, while I'm there, I'm going to remove the fill of the text box, no fill, and also remove the outline of the text box no outline. And my final little bit of magic here, I'm going to insert a rectangle across the whole lot. Uh, let me drag this one here, make this a bit wider over here. That looks good, color it green. And then over on the right here, you can see I've got the send backward button. And that's it. Now, as you type in the text box, Excel will dynamically highlight the rows containing the text you've entered, making it easier than ever to analyze and visualize your data. Give it a try and see the magic unfold. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a, a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Computer Tutoring for more awesome Excel tips and tricks. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy excelling.